Hi, welcome to another episode of Idol Stand Nation. We got our main host, Oren Bang, and I'll be joining them today. Say hi, guys. What's up? Hey, everyone. All right, so let's see. I don't know, one of the things I'm looking forward to at the moment is Eyes One's uh, latest Hard Eyes album that's going to be coming up. Yeah. Uh, what is that going to be? April? Yeah, I think April the first or third. It's it's in like very first week of April. Oh yes. <laughs> yeah, I'll be uh, I'll be adding probably four more albums to that to that shopping cart as well. I'm, I'm probably pulling the trigger on buying some uh, Luigi Sonia albums, you know? also known as Co- Cosmic Girls and or WJSN. So, I don't know, what about you guys? Well, I mean, I just recently, uh, literally like what like half an hour ago ordered the the signed Evergo album off of Emily. I so how much did that set you back man uh well it was 26 i think for the actual album it was only 22 or 26 and then uh knowing me i got the priority shipping so that was like another 20. oh <laughs> it came out around i think 48. man oh, yeah you always want the, the albums as soon as possible dang man yeah, I um, I'm right now. I'm looking at my shopping cart. It's up to a hundred dollars at the moment, and that's not including, well. It's gonna be free shipping, so, um, but that's including the the Eyes One's uh pre-order, okay, pre-ordered album. So, uh, I may just end up leaving it at that, or well, no, I'm, I might more. end up. Yeah, I'm probably gonna add more. Yeah, I'm. I mean, I'm going to get the uh, one of the Eyes One <laughs> albums too. I might get the Sapphire. I think it, Sapphire or Violet. Uh, Good sapphire. Sapphire. Yeah, I got the sapphire. Cool. <laughs> yep. Uh, and then I might kind of wait just so I can get uh, Twice's upcoming album t- at the same time. Uh, just those are probably my two priorities at the moment. Oh yeah, I, yeah. You know what? Twice and then uh, Daya as well. So I'll be definitely man. So I'm gonna up to seven albums. I would just add Everglown. Yours. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, yeah, no. I've already, so, Aura and I had already talked about that in the last episode. Where, well, I don't know about if, if Aura changes mind, but I don't plan on getting it myself. No, I, I don't think I'm gonna get Everglows. Uh, I mean, again, I, I've said it uh, before. I li- in the last episode, uh, I like them. I think that the like the the song was good, but it wasn't as good enough to make me go. All right, I gotta get this album. You know, I. It, it's it was good but not good enough for me no oh, the fact that you're, you've already got the uh, order in i mean i'm assuming that you really like them okay mm, so far yeah <laughs> not 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 just got them but also got the signed version of them <laughs> yeah yeah uh, go big or go home yeah yeah i um i just it's that auto tune and that 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 crashy thrashy uh, hip hop um, beat. I just do not like it. So. It, it. For me, it just felt like something was. I, I still think there was something just wasn't there for me for them. But you know, I, I'm still I'm still glad for for Shion Onda and um, oh yeah, Yiren. Yeah. So you know, they got they got the chance to debut. You know, and they've had a pretty good debut. It's up to what 11 million views. He said. Yep, 11 mil. Yeah, that's what five days now. Yeah. So, I mean, they're doing they're doing well, and you know, I, I like them. Yeah. So it's, it's like Mamamoo all over again, right? <laughs> uh, XID. Yeah. I like I like the group. I just wish I liked the the music as much as I like the group. I mean, I like I like the music. L- same as the last episode. I like the music. Um, I actually really like the because I just saw the uh live performance or stage performance and yeah they did pretty good on that yeah I, I love the stage performance uh the dance was really amazing um but the song still wasn't me dang <laughs> and you know uh since bang is here for it now uh what's your opinions on it um i i mean just from listening to it and watching the music video i just really enjoyed it there's just something about the beat and the energy that flows really good, in my opinion. That just makes it one of the songs that I just really enjoy. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I will say I did enjoy that the, the live stage performance. Um, seeing Shion's smile on stage was 
just fantastic. You know, it as, as again as much as I don't like the song, <laughs> you know, just seeing them on stage performing and and just that that happiness. You know, I'm genuinely happy for them. Yeah. Uh, again, uh, Irun definitely still like pulls you in. Like she she really brightened up too. Yeah. So. so. Uh, I've, all the members just did great. Uh, <coughs> for, I don't know. For me, uh, Mia just didn't stand out as much in this la- uh, stage show as she did in the music video. But, yeah. Well, so, so I mean, that, that comes down to editing and you know the camera work. Exactly. Where with with the live performance, it's it's definitely much harder to to kind of capture that. Yeah. And time it well. So. And you know, was well, they usually have at most. Or at least what three or four different cameras going right? Exactly. So then the uh, what's the what's the position of that person that's up in the um, the broadcasting room? Like, is that like the not it's not like the director but the, like, no, the producer the or yeah, they're like an overseer, right? But I don't yeah. know. I don't know what the actual title is for that position, but you know they're the ones who decide. Like, all right, so cut to camera two, cut to camera three. Yeah. Uh, camera camera number one, uh, pan in. You know. They, they direct all that and it's really challenging uh, to actually try and do that live yeah and trying to give each member like the proper amount of time but you also want to be i don't know how to say it uh lively <laughs> i guess it would be or you have to have that you have to be able to draw the camera is basically i mean I- wouldn't they have before they actually did the live performance practice on that stage with the cameras to get the yes. perfect view stand and viewpoint of each camera. Yes, however, right. Uh, okay. So you watch the when you watch the Produce Forty Eight. Have you noticed the difference between when they perform in rehearsals versus when they perform on stage? I didn't watch that. <laughs> oh, okay. So, <laughs> so if you watch Produce Forty Eight, Produce One Hundred One, Ida School, or anything like that, um, you're gonna see that when they're performing in the in the rehearsals. Versus when they're on stage, it is an entirely different feel, and you know you, you can't you can't exactly prepare for that in rehearsals as a person that's trying to you know prepare the camera work and whatnot. You know, all right, so at this point in, at this beat, I'm going to start panning in on zoom or, or uh, camera number three, or camera number one is going to zoom in on her because mm-hmm. you know when they're on stage you're, and you're, they're getting that reaction from the crowd, right? They're getting that energy from the crowd. It draws out their, you know, it draws out their emotions from the, from, from the performers. You know, that's why you got to see like she she smiles like the way she did on that live um, live stage that we just saw. Yeah. I'm, so it's not going to be captured in, in the rehearsals. Yeah, I'm. Yeah. For, I mean, because for stage shows, you definitely. How do I explain this? Um, for stage shows, you really. When you when you're operating stuff like that, um, like s- things change because there's definitely a larger crowd when you're recording. Um, sometimes uh, people do stand in the way, or uh, it's just a lot of factors that, aren't, that is recording during a live stage that isn't possible. Uh, that isn't always during factored re- in. Rehearsal. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. Yeah, and that's why for for that kind of work. It is. Uh, you ha- you kind of have to be able to make those snap judgments on the spot, and sometimes you just you just miss it. Um, and especially with <clears throat> when the crowd reacts to a certain point in the song or to a certain point in the choreography that you weren't expecting. Like you know, you say, "Hey, you know, when you're talking about your choreography, like this is my our, our point of the choreography. You know, you know this particular move right here at di- at this song or at this point in the song," and the people may not react to that. Like you thought they would, and instead they reacted to something else more, much more strongly. Yeah, and you're gonna want to try to capture that um, on the camera as it's happening. Yeah, um, I mean that's something that uh, is very helpful with like something with Screen X. Um, like I saw Twice's Screen X um, when it was released in the U.S. maybe a month or two back. I don't remember. Um, so what? The difference between like just watching one screen versus a screen that's on three sides is it captures more so you get to see more um of the camera work that you couldn't usually see exactly yes 
And, you know, how many times are you watching a, a live stage, right, where you wish, like, man, you know, why, why, why were you zoomed in at that point? Like, I wish you were zoomed out so I could have seen everything that I wanted to have seen. Yeah. Or they may have zoomed in a bit too much. Um, or they had the wrong angle. Yeah. You, you, you do see that a lot. Uh, you probably just don't remember because you, know, you dismiss it on the spot. I mean, there's also the, f I mean, there are uh, cameras that are just focused on that one member as well. Um, and that does a really good job about that. Yeah. Um, and then fans also do it too. So it's, yep. it's just fan cams. Yeah, exactly. Yes. It's, but you know, it's sometimes some cuts are just a lot better than others during certain situations or, uh, sometimes the individuals just, or sometimes they're trying to get all the members in some of the shots rather than just the individual. And so it's yeah. it's just stuff like that that really how do i explain it that really try to make things flow better <clears throat> that's what um i was trying to think the past couple of seconds uh one of the moments that i can remember of that and i think i might be wrong but i know in one of um twice's videos they're doing the live stage and I think it was Likey when Momo had her dance break, and it zoomed in on the wrong yes. member, yes. and it just completely missed all of it. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. It it, it happens. Um. It's especially when you're it's it's all live because mm -hmm. it happens. Or especially when when there's like a whole lot of groups, so you're not going to have that much rehearsal time. Like you may ha have only just one rehearsal prior to the actual broadcast because they have to get like 12 other other groups uh, rehearsals in as well mm -hmm. yeah so yeah that's that's exactly how that kind of stuff happens man yeah oh, what else <clears throat> are you guys looking forward to well i know if blackpink does have a comeback soon i'd say i'm definitely looking forward to that because i actually really like their last album or their yeah. i guess what was it a mini album or was that because it, it was, was a mini album four songs mm -hmm. yeah yes I actually really like those. And yeah, if uh, they do the same style, then I'll like this next one. I, I thought I thought that was a really good album myself. Um, I was at, and I was actually thinking the same thing too. Like, man, you know, when is their next album album gonna release? Yeah, and because I know they're performing Coachella. Yeah, here. What? Yeah, they were performing yeah. in Coachella. Um, <clears throat> that's gonna be huge. I don't know. Uh, just because as I've never been to Coachella for one thing. Uh, so I don't know how it's a huge music fest. Yeah. yeah, I just don't know how the reception is going to be for Coachella. Um, well, Coachella's always got huge crowds yeah. every single time. <laughs> yeah. Um, I mean, I I hope that it's successful for them. You know, I hope they have fun. Even uh, if anything, even if it's not as big as we hope that it would be, we're still gonna hear about it either way. Yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah. Um. Uh, rather than uh, the entire group's comeback, I'm actually looking forward to uh, Rose. I know I don't know when it's going to be released. I'm, go the but solo. yeah, the solo for Rose. Rose? Uh, yeah, I'm looking forward to hers. I, I absolutely love her voice uh, when she's singing. Um, so I'm she I'm looking forward to her solo song. Yeah, her. I definitely uh, keyed in on her vocal performances or her vocal parts when I was first discovering Blackpink and you know on top of seeing them on like variety shows like Idol Room Idol Room and Weekly Idol um her personality or this personality is just so like just isn't that like adorable it's so br bright and, and, and fun and just cute yeah right I'm I mean for me uh the one that draws me in is uh Lisa Lisa yes <laughs> uh so uh, personality wise Lisa is going to be the one that draws me in during variety shows um because like it's so high energy it's she well, she has a very uh like genuinely lovely personality mm -hmm. but the other the other one for me is uh Lisa because she is so she's so weird <laughs> so weird <laughs> she's just so weird but like like it's just a, a fun and funny kind of weird like she just she doesn't care like that she, you know that she's being weird she just she's comfortable with with 
being herself. Yeah, <laughs> I mean, it's all of, like cool and fun and all that. So, <laughs> uh, but yeah, no. Uh, <clears throat> I'm also looking forward to whenever Daya's uh, latest album comes out. So, because like, I know you guys are all about Everglow for this week, but for me, it's been Daya. Well, their album's already out. Well then, I guess I'll leave the rest of this broadcast to you guys, and I'm gonna be shopping right now. <laughs> uh, <laughs> uh, oh, great! Leave it, leave it to us. Um, I don't know. I don't know if it's out to actually buy because I haven't looked at it, but I know the whole album is on Spotify. Uh, I be- I believe it should be uh, out yeah, by now. Yeah, the whole album's on Spotify, but it should. I mean, it, be on, out. On, unless it's similar to Itzy, you know, if it's similar to Itzy, then yeah. Uh, it might just be all digital, but it should be. Uh, it's it's either going to be out soon or uh, it's going to be or it's already out. It's one of uh, those. Is it a mini album or is it a full album? It's a mini album. Okay. Yeah. They already yeah. have what like four four songs. Uh, you for... mm. Oh really? Yeah. Yeah. I mean. Uh... Like I'm not saying I don't I dislike uh, Dia's newest uh, release. It's it was good. Um, it definitely reminded me of the whole uh, childhood rollerblading uh, in the dark kind of thing, <laughs> or in a roller yeah. rink. It, well, for for me that like the the uh, uh, like I, I got the same like '90s like kind of vibe as well for, from uh, Ua, but for for me it came from the that opening like. Uh, synthetic, like uh, synthesized beat. It reminded me of uh, Mortal Kombat, like from 1995, like their, their that theme song. Yeah, yeah. It, it definitely reminded me of that. I did want to yell Mortal Kombat uh, <laughs> in, after the beginning. <laughs> Mortal which, Kombat. Which, by the way, um, like the oldest member from Daya is only a month uh, older than uh, when Mortal Kombat released. Really? Yeah. The time. Like, oh. The rest of the rest of the uh, the rest of the members like hadn't even been around yet. Uh, well, oh. Oh. <laughs> okay. Uh, okay. Well, Ji Hoon and I are old. Okay. Um. Bang. I. I think. I don't. Were you around for Mortal Kombat? Or no, I don't think he was. I was around when I wanted to be around. <laughs> <laughs> Because, uh, <laughs> uh, I mean, don't get me wrong, I enjoyed the old Mortal Kombat, but uh, knowing that these groups are like, um, for like Lion King, Mortal Kombat, <laughs> knowing that these groups were either barely born or weren't born at all by when these movies came out, uh, I, I feel so old. <laughs> uh, like, and that's why I bring it up. Uh, yeah. So at uh, least I'm narrowing down on how old Aura is. You still won't get it out of me, man. Still won't get it out of me. Uh, <laughs> you can just say older than dirt. <laughs> yeah. I, I, I want to have that like old, like old timey beard and look like a, uh, whatchamacallit, Merlin. I got you. <laughs> <laughs> I'll wait till this video comes out. <laughs> Uh, but yeah, no. I, people who are listening, I'm not that old. Uh, He's lying. He's lying. <clears throat> I am not Merlin <laughs> old, okay? I am not centuries. <laughs> uh, centuries. Uh, yeah. Uh, could have fooled me. <laughs> bang, I, th- I, th- I think we just ended up on the list. Oh, oh no. <laughs> Anything but that. Uh the l- or, wait the list. Or is gonna pretend that he doesn't he know what no we're talking, what we're about. talking about. <laughs> no, I really <laughs> don't know what we are talking about. Uh, don't worry, Aura. Your secret safe with us and all the rest of the viewers. I, I have no idea. Oh my god, <laughs> you you bring up the list and I'm like, what list? <laughs> I don't know. I literally don't know, guys. <laughs> well, just, just just wait till you see the video. Oh god, you guys suck. You guys suck. <laughs> uh. All right, so no, I really uh, thought it was going to be a, a regular part of the list, but hmm, I thought I thought it was a regular, or I thought it was the the more the one that stood out, you know. Oh, man, we we already we already shoehorned ourselves into it, man. 
<laughs> I'm still lost. <laughs> <laughs> Don't worry, man. You, you'll see. You'll see in the video. Fine. So, bang. What, what else you got in your on your shopping cart? What else do I got in my shopping cart? Yeah, I thought you also had a bunch, like a few other things that you're buying, like some posters or. Some well, like that. I mean, in my shopping cart right now, there's nothing because I just recently bought stuff. But I know. Oh, you are you already bought stuff? Yeah, I picked up um, "Insane Love" from Sister or Sistar. I keep getting corrected <laughs> on that. I don't think it matters. Um, <clears throat> I mean, the I old Sistar fans would be. Did they even have a group fandom a name? Fandom name? Ooh, now I'm gonna look this I up. I honestly don't remember. Wow. I wasn't too advanced on any of that when I was listening to them. Like, and I was super, super, super into them. Like, I mean, don't get me wrong, I love Sistar's music, uh, I mean, there were maybe one or two songs I wasn't into, but I don't think I ever knew what their fandom name was. Style. Like, so it's, it's stylized as, like, star and the number one, mm -hmm. but somehow it, it, it gets pronounced as, like, style. Okay. So... Oh! Yeah, because that goes <clears throat> off of, off of the Korean pronunciation. Okay, I get it now. Style, uh, it's, it's style. Okay. Wow. Definitely and then, something new. I was gonna pick up another um, another Shake It album because I already have. I feel like I'm gonna pronounce this wrong. Dasom. Dasom. Did I pronounce that wrong? Dasom. Dasom. Yeah, I'm really bad at pronunciations. <laughs> but I have her version of Shake It, which is signed already. Nice. And I really want Boris, but I don't think I'd be able to get it because from what I was looking at. They're all randomized, which version you get. And I just don't really want to get a duplicate. <laughs> yeah. Well, that, so for, for myself, I got... Um, I added, like... I just added uh, Daya's latest album. It's on, it's on pre-order, along with Eyes One. And then four albums from Uji So I'm mm -hmm. up to six albums now. Yeah. I'm I know <sighs> besides albums from the Dome Tour merch, uh, for twice, I picked up the backpack that was there, which was I think a hundred dollars. <laughs> that is an expensive backpack, man. <laughs> yeah. So um, so it was like with me with uh, Oh My Girl because at the concert, um, you can only get the backpack if you bought the whole set, like the whole. You bought the whole set. And I bought the whole set because I wanted. <laughs> I, I primarily wanted the backpack, but then I also wanted like I saw everything else. I'm like, well, the hoodie's nice. The hat's nice. The mouse pad's nice. You know what? I'm gonna get everything. For me, I'm a hat guy, so I'd just probably buy the hat. Um, oh yeah, I did you buy something for that tour as well? Me? Yeah, I bought the uh, photo book from the Dome Tour. Uh, yeah, I included that with mine too. I got I got that, I got the backpack, I got... I think... Um, I don't remember if it was A or B, but the, the set of cards, photo cards that they have. Yeah. Um, and then I think there was one more. I can't remember though. So yeah, uh, looks like uh, we have gotten a pretty good list of stuff that we could eventually show when they all come in. <laughs> yeah. Oh yeah. Which is still getting added to though. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I know because um, that's how it happened with the with the last uh, Mega Hall series. Like I started with like four albums and then grew to twelve. Yeah. <laughs> so. I'm already at six right now, and it happened in all of, what half an hour. <laughs> I know I have. Um, I also have G Idol's latest album on the way, which is signed. Oh yeah, I don't you know did if it's say on the way yet, but I ordered it. Okay, man, like you always go for the signed stuff. Oh yeah, if there's the option for it, I mean, I'm definitely gonna pick it up. Yeah, I'm. I mean, I'm fine with the regular albums. Uh, if, if I really wanted the signed albums, you know. Uh, I'd get it, but I don't always I'm saying have to it's go. like it it doesn't what's the point of getting the regular version when you can have that plus it being signed or Basically, I don't know if it would be the same price, but it's literally like right around there I don't know. Uh, it depends on who it is it, and on the album. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, I know some albums well, yeah, it's because... like 20 20 bucks uh, more expensive for a signed album Well, yeah, because these these albums that I've picked up that are signed have been under $30 each, but I know the one twice album I have 
was, I think, I can't remember exactly what it was. It was either 140 or 240. I think it was more on the 140 <laughs> side. Or the side. I mean, <laughs> if I remember right, it was a, a, an older album too. So, like, yeah, old, yeah, older albums one. are more expo- uh, a bit more expensive because they're harder to get. And then the yes. Shake It album was, I think, only 90. Yeah, I know. Because, like, right now, um, I'm still searching for Oh My Girl's Clo- uh, Closer album. And my god, dude! Like I watched it grow from six, sixty-five dollars to a hundred twenty dollars. Wow! Yeah. Yeah. I mean, like older albums are just so rare. I, I was so close to getting that yes or yes or yes, or yes album, and I lost it. <laughs> <laughs> uh. Yeah. Yeah. So I think uh, we're at a pretty good stopping point for this uh, for this episode. We're at what twenty-eight minutes now. Yeah. Recording. Yeah. So, oh, I think uh, so. For next week, we've got there's actually quite a bit of uh, releases coming up for next week. But I don't know, we'll see if any of them is anything engaging for us. You know, we'll decide to cover it or not. Yeah. Um. So, uh, should we end it with some the our favorite music videos from the week, the entire week that was released? Yeah. Yeah. Go for it, guys. Uh, Everglow. Everglow. Uh, bonbon chocolate. <laughs> For me, it was Daya with uh, Ua. So, cool. so two versus one. I guess, uh, as you call it, the voting. Uh, voting is it, uh, in. Everglow, Everglow wins. Yeah. We'll see you next time. <laughs> <laughs> oh. yeah, we'll see you next time, folks. Uh, like, comment, subscribe. Yeah, we'll ch- try to cover more uh, music videos or, you know, cover whatever. Peace. Bye. See ya.